cut, but your kerf is your guide. Mm -hmm. So once the kerf is established, that's really your fence. That's you're, just, you you're just freehanding that. I'm freehanding it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, this guy here, you mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah, this you're yeah. freehanding. Because you really can't cut beyond your mortise. You know, so the mortise is already in there, or a dado, I should say. So you get that yeah. into the dado, and when you hit the corners, you know, it bumps up against it, and you just stop right there. Right. But like I say, it's really nice because you can angle it and cut into those crevices as well. Mm -hmm. But um, this, I pair off maybe 30 seconds at a time. So I just go through it really quickly, then tap it a little bit deeper, and go through it quickly yeah. again. To get down the I ways. would think when you're trying to sl slide that dovetail in there, there's going to be some point where it stops and you got to back it out and keep working that's right part. that's right yeah. yeah and a lot of people what they'll do it's hard to do it with such a narrow batten on such a long table mm -hmm. but if you do a graduation where it actually tapers it's easier to fit it because mm -hmm. if it's tapered all the way across just slightly you drive it until it stops right. and then you pull it back out and you shave it down and you drive it till it stops and you keep doing that yeah and if there's discrepancies when you're driving it, it polishes up that where it's bearing. So where it polishes it, just trim that part mm -hmm. down first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What kind of wood is that? It's all black walnut. Yeah, oh, that's all black walnut. That was pretty. And you it, put a finish. On yeah, just a simple varnish. It's linseed oil, turpentine. Yeah. Usually use some kind of a thickener like I smell oil. linseed oil. Absolutely. And I usually put beeswax <laughs> over the top of it as well. Wow. I haven't done that yet though. Yeah. No beeswax yet. I gotta wait for it to cure a little bit. Mm. My varnish is getting old, so it's not drying as quickly as it should. So it's probably time to mix up some new varnish. 